And as Suicide Awareness Month continues this September, families and friends are still doing their parts to honor victims and raise awareness on the epidemic. Happening today, the Let It Shine Suicide Prevention 5K, honoring a Columbus teen whose life ended far too soon. News Leader 9's Kalise McGee has more. The race is now over, but Sims Vickers' memory and his light lives on. To know his resilience and his joy and his love, and it was just, he's, he was such a special guy. 14-year-old Sims Vickers took his life on March 26, 2022. He died the following day. Now a year and a half later, his friend Abby Jones and First Baptist Church family hosted the Let It Shine 5K to shed light on who he was. There's nothing, there's nowhere he'd rather be but church. He loved church, he loved football, there was just anything he loved, he was doing it all day, every day. He was always very nice to me at church, and he was always like very optimistic. Yeah. And to decrease the stigma behind mental health and suicide. We invited each person to turn to a neighbor and say, I need help and I'm not okay. But we want people to practice saying, I'm not okay, I need help, to help normalize it. At 8.30 a.m., a memorial service was held, giving space for Vickers' parents to speak. And following that, the 5K began. Word, good word. And the family means a lot to me. They go to my church. Our, <laughs> our church. We got a runner. We got a runner. Yay! Yay! Great job. A special medal with Vickers handwriting and his favorite Bible verse was given to the family. Vickers' father shared how he felt seeing the event come together. I was overwhelmed with joy and emotion knowing that my son, he's smiling down and he's happy with our efforts. All the money raised during this event will go to the Bradley Center to help other young people that are struggling with their mental health. Reporting in Columbus, I'm Khalees McGee for WTVM News Leader 9. What a great event. Thanks so much, Khalees. And uh